back to another episode of Lego News. Uh, I've been waiting to do this. I got really busy back with doing my finals for uh, my semester. But uh, this came out during that time where I was so busy and I've been wanting to talk about it because I'm really into the modular sets for the city sets for the, uh, for the Creator series. So the newest one, of course, is going to be the bookshop. You can see right here it looks really nice. Um, sadly, it does not come out until January 1st, so um, we can't get it for Christmas. Uh, I do wish that this came out uh, in November, around like Black Friday or you know, Thanksgiving time, because then you're able to get it for Christmas time. But, you know, uh, what can you do? So we're going to jump right into it. Again, this is a modular city set. I have every single one from the Green Grocer to the most updated one, which was the uh, Garage, I think. Garage Pet Store, that one. Um, so this one is the bookstore, like I said, or bookshop, as the name is. Uh, you can see right here, nice box. Uh, they're big boxes. Uh, 179 is a fair price for this. Uh, they run about uh, 150 to higher. I've seen higher than 200, depending on the set, of course. <coughs> uh, you can see right here, it's got Birch Books, which is the bookshop, of course, and then like a little apartment or a condo right here, which is connected to it. Uh, it's 2,500 plus pieces, of course, 16 and up. You can see the number is 10, 270. Um, <coughs> it looks good so far. Uh, let's see the overall set right here. You can see, zooming in, a lot of uh, nice, I, I'm, try, I'm using my hands, I don't really know why. A lot of uh, nice detailing at the top. There's some microphone pieces up here, right here and there. Uh, you can see coming down to the bookstore. Uh, does come with, it looks like four minifigures. Let's check the box art again. Yep, oh, five minifigures. You got two right here, one there, and then two right here. It comes with a little kid as well. Oh, it shows all five right here. He's got a little plane and everything. Of course, the brick separator. Uh, it would connect to all the other modular sets, of course. I do like these birch trees. Oh, I like the little bird right there. The little fall colors, which is a little weird. Uh, you could always change those, I guess, if you wanted to. Uh, looking at the bookstore, there's a uh, Moby Brick book, which is cool. A little punny right there. Uh, I like the teal color. Uh, that's not used in a lot of sets. The last, the most recent sets are very vibrant, which is nice. Um, <coughs> so here's the front facade of the building. Uh, I like the nice curved staircase right here. I don't know if you can see my mouse at all. Uh, nice curved staircase right here looks good. Uh, of course, it always comes with a lamp post. Uh, again, that tree is really big. It's nice. It's pretty much almost to the height of the building, at least for this one. Uh, again, it's got the teal and the brown, which looks really nice. Here's another view of it. You can see the plane stuck in the tree, so I guess that guy was helping the little kid on the uh, box art. Uh, you can see where it's going to connect on the side, of course. There is a back to it, it looks like. Let's click on this one. So back of the box art. So you can see the diner right here, the garage, and then, of course, the bookshop. Uh, a lot's to do on the box art. There's a little guard in the backyard, which is nice. So there's pumpkins, fireplace on the inside of the interior, it looks like. There's the balcony. His plane looks like he's throwing it out the window. Uh, let's go to the next one. So here is the first floor, I guess, of both buildings. So there's a basement in the uh, housing, and then the bookstore has a first floor, which looks like it goes up to a second floor. Again, you can kind of see right here, there is the, um, the garden back there. This would be the second floor, I'm assuming. So bookstore just keeps going up. Uh, you can't really see inside. These views aren't the best. Of course, building it would be much different. Uh, this one you can see, this would be the first floor of the apartment or condo. Uh, you can see there's a little tea time right there. Hat on the wall, which is nice. A little hat rack or coat rack right there. I assume this is where the fireplace is on this side, where the colors would change on the outside or the exterior of the building. A nice um, bay window right here on the front. Coming to the roof. Uh, th it looks weird like that they did it. Oh, it's because this one is so big on the bottom. So this is technically second floor. This is first floor. And then this would be the roof going on to the other one. This is the roof and second floor of the house, which looks nice. Again, I like, oh, the shingling uh, detail is really nice. Brick on the chimney. Again, that teal color. This one has pretty, it's pretty simple roof, but it has good uh, details to it. You got the mics and um, the uh, like window, window panes and everything like that around it. There's nice architecture to it. Here's the interior of the house, which is nice. It's got a little rug mat right there. Uh, you can see you got the fireplace like it showed. Oh, that's like a cabinet or um, where you can put your china or anything like that. You got the uh, table where they're having tea time. Of course, this picture is always on most of the walls for this series or the uh, the modular sets. Um, nice interior, a little plant right here, a little fern. Here's the back of the bookstore. So there's a little balcony out there. You can have some coffee or something. So it must be like a little cafe inside, which looks nice. Again, I like this hairpiece on her. I like that they use faces. I know people really critiqued that a while ago when they switched it over, which I think was, where is it at, box art. I think at the diners when they finally switched over to using uh, real Lego faces instead of just a happy face, 
Uh, I know a lot of people critique that for some odd reason. I don't really know why. It's cool to have more faces than just a smile and normal face. Uh, you can see inside the building there is a clock in there, so a little more details in there. Here is the back of the apartment. They switched them for some reason. Um, <coughs> nice wooden stairs going up the house. You got that bird. Again, she has a little garden back here, pumpkin, whatever else she's growing, maybe carrots or something like that. You can see this guy's got his ladder. He's going to go get that uh, plane out of the tree. A little bag. I like the bags. Uh, so here's a little boy with his ch uh, plane. Little neighbor saying hi. Again, that nice stairway going up into the apartment looks really nice. That Moby brick in the window right here. Or it could be the door. It's the window. Uh, they do put little pegs on some of the sidewalks. So right there and right here. So you can put your minifigures on display. Uh, here's the back of the apartment. You can see the birds on the balcony. I like these pieces right here. The railing. I don't know if you can see it again. The black cursor. But uh, I like these. The boy throwing his plane out the window or reaching out the window for some odd reason. They haven't showed the second floor. Nice accessory for the plane. There's the ladder. He's got an umbrella. Don't have umbrellas, I don't think. Uh, it's probably from him getting it out of the tree. Some other stuff. Uh, I guess them building the set. There's all the minifigures. Five, of course. And there it is on display. I think that is everything that they have for picture-wise. I am on the LEGO website, so of course the link will be down below for this so you can check it out. And if you want, you can check out, I don't know which side, uh, one of these sides, the other LEGO News is on one of them. I think it's this side up here somewhere. <coughs> um, but the bookstore... Uh, I'm excited for it. Uh, again, sad it doesn't come out around the holidays because I would have liked to add it to my LEGO City that I have set on display right now. I'm going to have to move some stuff around. I just expanded it a little more. Uh, sadly, you can't get the gingerbread house either, which would be nice. But again, looks like an awesome set. I'm super excited for it to get it first of the year. I mean, I'll be getting it, of course. Um, a lot of nice architecture to it. A lot of nice detail. Again, it's a very vibrant colors. Just like the diner. Um, so you get the diners, those vibrant colors, which would match the little house right here, the apartment. And then the garage is that brown and gray colors, which matches the bookstore. So uh, that looks really nice. And it flows uh, it flows really nicely through the city and how you have it set up. Um, I like to put roads between them so you can see how it looks close. It can be more like a sidewalk that they have. I put road plates so it's like, um, well, I guess you kind of have it a road plate because they have the garage right here. I put road plates in between so then you have the city it like cuts off at a certain point so always on the corners so technically they should have did another corner piece that's just my opinion but you can always connect to the side of the garage if you want to um, but again overall I give this set probably a 10 out of 10 looking at it aesthetically like this uh, we'll have to see when I get building it how it looks but like I said I'm excited let me know in the comments below um, what you think of the sets what you think of the modular series in general uh, I have done a live stream on them before, which took a while. I think it took about, for the garage, uh, I th with a break, I think it took about maybe three and a half hours, which is, I guess, pretty standard for me with how many pieces that one would be, too. So, again, this one is 2,500. But, you know, uh, time putting into Legos is not a big deal because it's such a big thing for me. So, uh, again, link will be down below for this if you want to check it out for yourself. Again, January 1st is when it comes out, so be sure to get yours if you are into the modular series. Again, check out my other LEGO news. I have a lot of other LEGO things on my uh, page as well. Be sure to leave a like in the video if you ever liked it, and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. As always, thanks for watching.